It is a chilly night in Zagreb. I gotta tell you, I found my way down to the square and uh, gotta find myself uh, some tickets. So you, you, you ride, it costs four kuna. Four kuna probably be about 75 cents or something like that in US dollars. And you can ride a, uh, a tram or trams, you can ride multiple trams for uh, up to 30 minutes as long as you're going in the same direction. So this is where you would actually buy the uh, buy the ticket. You'd get the ticket right here at the. Uh, I guess they call these places like tobacco tobacco stands or something like that, where they sell uh, sell cigarettes. So you can see it's uh, it's about rush hour time right now here in in Zagreb, and uh, people are lined up to buy their buy their tickets. They're going home, and I. Uh, just had my first taste of strukl. I think that's how you pronounce it, S-T-R-U-K-L or, or something like that. But uh, you know, Zagreb is a really, really nice place. It's uh, it's kind of growing on me. It didn't make necessarily the best first impression, but I heard that uh, I heard that Zagreb is really, really popular with uh, with expats. So. This is, uh, and here you see, uh, give a shout out, I think it's Robert down in, in Melbourne who, uh, for whatever reason, Robert, uh, Robert likes trams. You know, I wonder as a little kid if he used to always get the trams, you know, or something like that. But uh, if he's down in Melbourne, then there, there you go, the number 12. I got to catch the number 1 or the number 17 on my way, uh, on my way back home. I gotta get the number one or the number seventeen. I think I can catch the number nine as well. You see, but the tram systems here, from what I've, you know, when I was uh, looking into uh, coming here to to Zagreb, the uh, the the tram system here, the 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 public transportation system, if you will, is uh, really good. It's really nice. I don't know if it's uh, as good as Budapest, but uh, Probably in all likelihood it is. Europeans really know the, uh, they really do a good job at these, uh, laying out the, these tram system. Here comes the number 12 for Dub Dubrava, something like that. There you go. Almost as if you were here, isn't it? All right, I haven't gotten my ticket yet. I gotta go buy my, uh, go buy my ticket but I'm gonna kind of walk through the uh, casually kind of walk through the crowd and try to be as discreet as possible in doing so kind of give you a feel for what it's like to be here in Zagreb on a chilly autumn evening I would imagine temperatures right now are probably in the if I had to guess probably in the mid 40s and the wind is uh, probably making it feel a little bit uh, chillier than that. But just across now, they have the uh, they have the the, the most. Uh, it's been voted the best Christmas market here in in Europe. Zagreb does. And uh, here comes another one. I was just about to step across. There's another. There's another tram. That's the number 13. That's lucky number 13. And these trams just keep running in and out. They're running in and out of here, and uh, I want to cross the street. But a uh, little bit challenging to do so. Everybody's jumping on the, the number 13 tram, which must be, uh, must be pretty popular. They're all jumping on the number, the number 13. And I got to catch the number 17, which will be coming in about five minutes. So now I can uh, step across, I think, look both ways. And now I find myself over into, well, I'm over into the main, uh, I guess this would be the main square. You can see. So it is rather rather chilly. They've got a tent here. I don't know what this tent is, but we'll take a uh, we'll take a walk through. And here is a uh, a statue to a 
famous Croatian, I'm sure. Bon. Oh, I can't. I have a hard time. I have a hard enough time pronouncing the Hungarian Hungarian names, let alone the uh, let alone the Croatian. So this is a uh, looks like it's a market, and you know, if only to get out of the cold. They're open till eight o'clock. If only to get out of the cold, I think I'm going to walk through the walk through the market. Look at this. You can pick your up stuff up. Some of this good stuff. Oh, that looks good. Should get some of this for breakfast tomorrow morning. Look at that. Fantastic. Rather a busy, uh, busy place. Selling soap. Every time I see them selling soap, I think of uh, who was it? Nina, Nina down and down under. And uh, hopefully, I'm going to be visiting Nina here in the not too distant future. If I go down to see Oz, but. Uh, All right, I gotta find my way. Uh, I gotta find my way over to the. Uh, gotta find my way over to the to the tram. I'm actually filming this with my with my camera, my uh, phone rather. I'm filming this with my phone. Look at that. I bet Melissa's enjoying watching this uh, this video. When I use my phone, I'm limited to about uh, 10, 10 minutes. Pick yourself up some toys. Sometimes these videos make the best. And I can't see a little Pinocchio without thinking of Michelle down uh, down under in uh, Brisbane, Brisbane, Australia. So you get about uh, you get about 10 minutes when you use the uh, use the phone. Whereas on my other uh, on my other camera, I can get in about uh, 30 minutes. These guys look like they're doing a, uh, a tasting there. Yeah, they're doing some type of a, of a tasting. These videos, uh, these videos can actually make the make for the best because it just gives you the feeling that you're you're actually here. It's like you're. You're taking a vacation without leaving the comfort of your uh, comfort of your home. So, hope you enjoyed this little little walk through. It was kind of an impromptu, spontaneous uh, little tour of the square here in Zagreb. So, have a uh, have a wonderful, wonderful day.